With enhancements to smoke detector regulations due to false alarms and shorter evacuation times, more precise sensing and smarter decision making is being required in the smoke detector industry. Hi, my name is Brandon Bushy and I'm a systems applications engineer at Analog Devices. In this video, I will briefly discuss and demonstrate the UL217 smoke detector reference design from Analog Devices. There are several key benefits to highlight in this solution. The most important is that the solution is fully tested and verified to pass the new regulation updates required by UL217 8th edition. Complete with algorithm, software, and over 1,000 sample data sets, Analog Devices reduces development time and risk when designing and implementing your new smoke detector application. The CN537 reference design features the ADPD-188BI integrated smoke sensing module along with the optimized smoke chamber to provide low power, high resolution measurements in a small form factor. Typically, smoke detectors today use either ionization, photoelectric, or a combination of both technology types to sense smoke events. While each technology has its strengths, when it comes to fire detection, it's difficult for either to be able to pass the updates in 217 by themselves. That's where the ADPD-188BI comes in. This sensing technology is also photoelectric in nature, but because the sensor is highly integrated, the method by which it makes those measurements is different. The ADPD-188BI uses a measurement technique known as backscattering. This means that the light emitted from the ADPD-188BI gets reflected back to the receiver channel. When smoke flows through the chamber, the amount of reflected light received changes and that can be measured in a decision based off of that. I've set up a demo to emulate a smoke environment. Next to me, I have a sealable container and that is gonna be used to collect the smoke. And as you can see, I've got the CN537 smoke detector board and the MCU board Velcro to the ceiling of our container. Now for obvious reasons, I'm not gonna be lighting a real fire. So I'm gonna be using this can of smoke. These are designed to test the fire alarm systems inside houses and buildings to make sure they operate properly. And you can even look here and see a little UL stamp at the bottom of this can. The ADICUP3029 has already been programmed with the UL217 application software. So I'll be gathering some data using the USB cable connected to my PC to take measurements from our container. This way you can see as we introduce more smoke inside the container, the values will rise, triggering the smoke detector algorithm and sounding the alarm. First, let me communicate to the board via serial connection. After connecting to the board, remember to hit the reset button as to bring up the menu as the software comes up, you'll see that the initialization and calibrations are occurring. Once complete, I'm gonna change the update rate to one hertz. And then after that, we're gonna stream the data. Notice that the values for the blue channel are around seven and the IR channel is about five. But these values can vary depending on your environment. Now I'm gonna close the lid of the container and I'm going to spray a small amount of the canned smoke through the same hole which contains a USB cable. Now if you look at the serial terminal, you'll see that the readings are starting to spike and the alarm is actually going to sound. So there you have it, the UL217 smoke detector reference design demo. For more information and to view the complete list of offerings, please visit analog.com slash CN0537. Thank you.